Assalamualaikum and good morning. So now we are going to do exercise uh, to find second derivative. And all these questions are from textbook page 50. Okay, so now let's do question 1a. We have y equals to 3x power of 4 minus 5x squared plus 2x minus 1. Find dy dx and d squared y dx squared. Okay, so this is simple function. So we just uh, differentiate. So here we have 12x cubed minus 10x plus 2. Okay, this is dy dx. So differentiate another time. We get d squared y dx squared. Okay, so this one 36x minus 10. Okay, this is uh, d squared y dx squared. Then 1b, y equals to 4x squared minus 2 over x. Okay, this one we have to move up x become 4x squared minus 2x power of negative 1. So then you can differentiate. We get here 8x plus 2x power of negative 2. Okay, so this one you can express more proper 8x plus 2 over x squared. Okay, so then from here you can find d squared y dx squared which is equals to 8 minus 4x power of negative 3 or 8 minus 4 over x cubed. C, uh, y equals to 3x plus 2 power of 8. Okay, this is composite function. So, therefore, you have to use uh, power rule. Okay, so dy dx, okay, move 8. 3x plus 2 power of 8 minus 1 is 7. Don't forget to differentiate another time. Uh, function in the bracket is 3. Okay, 8 times 3 is 24. Uh, 3x plus 2 power of 7. This is dy dx. Okay, so differentiate another time. d squared y dx squared is okay, 7 times uh, 24. Okay, um, 1, 6, 8. Okay, 3x plus 2 power of 6 times 3. Okay, so 3 times 1, 6, 8 is 5, oh, 4. 3x plus 2 power of 6. Okay, this is dy dx. This is d squared y dx squared. Okay, 2a fx okay equals to square root x plus 1 over x squared okay the question asks you to find f prime x and f double prime x for each of the following functions okay so for this one you have to simplify first because uh, become x power of 1 over 2 this one x power of negative 2 okay so then you can differentiate so x uh, f prime x equals to 1 over 2 x power of negative 1 over 2 minus 2 x power of negative 3. Okay, this is f prime x. So, you uh, express like this. So, 2 um, square root x. Okay, minus 2 over x cubed. Okay, so from f prime x, we differentiate another time. Okay, so become negative 1 over 4, x power of negative 1 over 2 minus 1, negative 3 over 2, plus 6, x power of negative 4. Okay, so this one you can simplify. Okay, so become negative 1 over 4, x power of 3 over 2, plus 6 over x power of 4. Oh, negative 1 over 4 square root x cubed plus 6 over x to the power of 4. Okay, then to be here we have fx equals to x power of 4 plus 2 over x squared. Okay, looks like you have to use quotient rule. Actually, you can simplify this one become x power of 4 over x squared plus 2 over x squared 
which is um, fx equals 2x squared plus 2x power of negative 2. Okay, if you express like this, it's easier for you to differentiate one by one. Okay, so differentiate first derivative. Okay, fx, f prime x equals to 2x minus 4x to the power of negative 3. Or you can express more proper 2x minus 4 power of uh, over uh, x cubed. Okay, so from here you get f double prime x 2 plus 12x power of negative 4. Okay, or uh, 2 plus 12 over x power of 4. Okay, so this is f, double, f prime this one f double prime question c fx equals to 2x plus 5 over x minus 1 okay so this one you cannot simplify you must use quotient rule okay you v use quotient rule Okay, so you identify u is 2x plus 5, du, dx is 2, v is x minus 1, dv, dx is 1. Okay, so for quotient rule, we have formula f prime equals to v, v first, okay, du, d, x minus u, dv, dx over v squared. Okay, so this one, V times du dx, U times dv dx. Okay, so become x minus 1 times 2 minus 2x plus 5 times 1. Over V squared is x minus 1 squared. Okay, so you can simplify this one. We get 2x minus 2 minus 2x minus 5 over x minus 1 squared so you simplify you get f prime x is you can cancel off okay, negative 7 over x minus 1 squared okay so this is f prime x okay so to find uh, f double prime x we have to differentiate another time okay so now looks like you use uh, you can you have to use quotient rule actually it's easier if you move up like this, okay, negative 7 times x minus 1 to the power of negative 2. Okay, so then you can use power rule to differentiate this. Okay, so here we get 14x minus 1 power of negative 3 times 1. Okay, so the final answer is um, 14, okay. Wait, okay, 14 over x minus 1 cube. The last one for this tutorial, question number 3. Okay, so given y equals 2x cube plus 3x squared minus 9x plus 2. Okay, we have cubic function here. Find the possible coordinates of A. Okay, when dy dx equal to 0. So now you have y in terms of x. Differentiate, we get dy dx equals to 3x squared plus 6x minus 9. Okay, given dy dx equal to 0. So u equal to 0. Then uh, this one is quadratic equation. You can... Uh, you solve, you can use factorization. Okay, so then we can factorize 3 first. Eh? x squared plus 2x minus 3 equals to 0. So 3x minus um, 1, x plus 3 equals to 0. Here we have x1, x equals to negative 3. Okay, so the question asks you to find the coordinates of A. Okay. Coordinates of A, you have to find the value of uh, Y first. Okay. So, when X equals to 1, Y equals to 1 cubed plus 3 times 1 squared minus 9 times 1 plus 2 equals to 4 minus 9, negative 5 plus 2, negative 3. So, therefore, coordinate is 1, negative 3. Okay. So, now another x is negative 3. 
So you substitute x equals to negative 3, y equals to, um, y, y, y. So y is negative 3 cubed plus 3 times negative 3 squared minus 9 negative 3 plus 2. Okay, so 27, um, 90, 27, minus 27. So this one plus uh, 27 plus 2 is 29, okay? So equals to 29. So therefore, coordinate is negative 3, 29. Okay, so done. But then, um, then, okay, then find the value of d squared y dx squared at point A, okay? So, you have to differentiate another time. Okay, just now. Okay, just now. This is your dy dx, okay? So, you have to differentiate another time. We get... Um, I rewrite lah dy. dx is 3. x squared plus 6x minus 9. Okay, so differentiate another time. d squared y dx squared equals to 6x plus 6. Okay, so the question asks you to find the value of d squared y dx squared at point A. At point A just now, um, we have two values of x. Okay, so you have to uh, substitute one by one. When x equals to just now 1 and negative 3, okay, so x uh, equals to 1, d squared y, dx squared equals to 6 times 1 plus 6, which is 12, okay? So, uh, when x equals to negative 3, d squared y, dx squared equals to 6 times 3 uh, minus 6, okay? So, this one, 16, oh, sorry, 18 minus 6 is negative uh, is 12 okay sorry my negative 3 eh? sorry sorry uh wait 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 okay so x equals to negative 3 okay so uh 6 times negative 3 plus 6 negative 18 plus 6 is negative 12 